Hey everyone, welcome to another video tutorial. In the previous video, we saw how to use the CF7 DB feature of the extensions for CF7 plugin. Today, I am going to talk about another feature of this plugin, which is called CF7 Conditional. If we click on this menu, we'll find some global settings. Before we get into these settings, let me show you how this feature works. If you want to show or hide a field, depending on the value of another field, you can do so using this feature. Suppose you want to make a field dependent on another field so that it does not show unless the field it is dependent on has any value. Or you want to do the opposite. For example, if a field contains a certain value, then the field that you'll set as a dependent will be shown. Such type of conditionals can be applied to the fields of Contact Form 7 using this great feature. Now that you have got an idea about what this feature does, we'll go to the Edit screen of the Contact Form 7 plugin by clicking on this link. Here, we'll see that a new tab called Conditional Field Settings has been added. If we click on this tab, it will prompt us to save the form before adding any conditions. We don't need to create a new form since we already have a form that we had created earlier. So, we'll edit the existing one. Now, click on the Conditional Field Setting tab. Here we can see a new option to add conditions. Let me show you how you can add conditions. First of all, go to the Form tab. Now, we'll create a condition from here. The condition is that the email address field will be displayed if the name field is not blank. That means if we write something in the name field, the email address field will be visible. So, we have to apply the condition to the email address field so that it becomes dependent on the name field. To do that, click on Conditional Fields and add a tag. Enter a name for the tag and click on Insert Tag. After inserting the tag, we'll see that a new field group tag has been generated. As we want to apply the condition to the email address field, we'll have to place all the email address field related stuff inside this field group tag. Now press the Save button. Once it is saved, go back to the Conditional Field Setting tab and click on Add New Condition. In this drop down, we'll find all the created group fields. Since we have created only one, let's select this. Here, you can select the field on which you want to add a dependency. We will select the name field over here as the email address field will be dependent on it. Now, we'll add the condition from this dropdown. Let's go ahead and select not equal and keep this field empty for the blank value. That means if the name field is not equal to blank, only then the email address field will be displayed. Press Save. After saving the condition, we'll check the front end to see the feature in action. Here, you'll see that the email address field is not visible, but if I insert something on the name field, the email address will appear right away. So, this is how the CF7 conditional feature works. If you want to join some more conditions along with the existing one, then you can do so by clicking on the Add and Condition button. In this case, the form field on which you will set the dependency must fulfill all the conditions. Let me show you how to do that. We have already set the dependency on the name field, right? Now we'll set another dependency on the subject field. Here we are going to select the same option as we did before. Therefore, the condition will work when the subject field is not empty or blank. That means when we insert any value in the subject field, the email address field will be displayed. As you can see, we have set the dependency on two fields. Let's save the changes. Now, if we go to the page where we have added the contact form, we'll see that the email address field won't appear, even if we insert a value in the name field, because the email address field is now dependent on two fields. So, we have to insert values in both name and subject fields. Only then, the email address field will be visible. Hope you have understood everything I have shown so far. If you want to assign any value, you can do that from here. Note that the value must match the data that you will insert while filling out the form. Only then the dependent field will appear.
There is another way to apply these conditions. First, enable the text mode. Once you enable this option, you will see that the conditions are converted into text. You can also add new conditions in this way. I am giving you an example by adding a condition using the text mode. Just make sure that when you are adding an AND condition in the text mode, add that in a separate line. Otherwise, the condition won't work properly. So, these are the two ways you can follow to add conditions in the form fields. Let's go ahead and explore the global settings available for this feature. Here you can choose what will be the default mode while adding the conditions, such as normal mode and text mode. Let's choose the text mode and save the settings. Now if we go to the edit screen of the Contact Form 7 plugin, we'll see the mode has been changed to text mode. Enable this option if you want to show an animation while showing or hiding the fields. You can even set the duration of the animation from here. If you don't want to show the animation, simply keep this option disabled. So that's all about the CF7 conditional feature. If you have any queries regarding this video, please drop us a comment below. You can also contact us directly from our website, hasthemes.com. So that's it from me today, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.